guys and welcome to the last project in Minecraft month. And the last one, which was a bit of an extra project, is a dirt block tissue box cover. So no longer do you have to put up with the normal shop bought tissue look. You can have your own dirt block tissue box, perfect for those upcoming autumn and winter nose blowing needs. So follow the video and I'll lead you through exactly how to make it for yourself. So let's crack on with the video. Okay, for this project you're going to need a large piece of foam board, A2 works really well. As well as the foam board, you're also going to need a healing cutting board. You're going to need a Stanley, Exacto, or Sharp Craft Knife. You're also going to need a pair of scissors to cut out your templates. You're going to need a small pack of hot glue sticks, a hot glue gun, a normal tacky glue stick, and lastly the templates which are in the description below. For this project, you're going to need four of the tissue box size templates. You're also going to need four of the coloured dirt block templates. And lastly, uh, you're going, oh sorry, you're also going to need uh, one of the tissue box top templates and one of the uh, grassy bits of the tissue box templates. Once you've got all those, cut out your templates, set those to the sides, and let's get started on the rest. So next step, you're going to want to take the tissue box top pieces and the tissue box sides and you're going to want to arrange them on your foam board in a plus shape with the tissue box top in the middle. Doesn't matter which way around these templates go, but you want a plus shape. Once you've done that, take your glue stick and stick them down in that shape. If you want to save on the cutting, start them on the corners down here and then you'll have two sides you won't have to cut. So line up these two, then line up your tissue box in the middle. then. Take your side pieces and line those on top just like that. Next step, glue those down and then we'll get on to the cutting side. Once you start down the white and black templates, you want to take your healing cutting boards, a metal ruler and your craft knife. Tuck your healing mat underneath your foam boards and then using your ruler, make sure, uh, cut around the outside of this cube net, this plush that you've created. We'll pick up the video after we cut round. And there we have one completed cutout. So let's clear away our foam board and move on to the next step. Now for the next step, we're going to create a collapsing cube net, whereby we make a nice little hinged part here, which is going to fold up to form the main net of our box. So to do this, you're going to need to cut a V cut using your Stanley or Craft knife. To do this, using your metal ruler, you want to line it up with one of your four edges. One, two, three, four and line it up with the middle of where the line is. Now, move about half a centimetre to the right, and this is where you want to be very careful, making sure your ruler is parallel to the black line here. Take your craft knife and turn it so it's roughly 45 degrees. So if you're going straight up and down like this, you want to turn it so it's roughly just like that, like half of a quarter turn. Now, first time, you, probably, you might cut through a little bit. Don't worry too much about that. You can always tape it up. So I would suggest turning it sideways like this, then gently push in, not all the way, and then just gently run it through. Doesn't have to be too deep. Now in your second run through, go back to the beginning, a little bit harder, and you might need just need the third one to go through. Then once you've done that, move it back to the line where you've got your black line and move half a centimetre the other way. Then once you've done that, you may find it easy, easier if you're cutting towards you to turn it around line it up and then move it half a centimetre this way. Once you've done that, it's apply the knife in the same way, turn 45 degrees, gently do a little cut first at the tip, then dig it in and do a slightly deeper cut and then just run it through to make it nice and smooth. And what you should find here, if I move my things to the sides and lift it up here, is that we've got a nice little cut groove appearing just there, trying to tap it too much. So what we want to do is you want to pick out this little piece of foam board here, which if you give it a very gentle pull, it should just come away. And now, all we'll need is a little line of hot glue there, and that should fold up nicely into a 90 degree cut. And I'll turn it sideways so you can see, just like that. So what you want to do is you want to do these 45 degree cuts on all the edges, apart from the ones facing the outside here, as these will be the pieces which when it's folded, will be sitting flat down on the table like this with the top of your box. So, just like with here, turn your net sideways, move your ruler so it's uh, slightly to the right, right on your back line, 
then move it in, or oh, sorry, uh, out half a centimetre, and then just cut in like that. So light one, deeper one, and deepest one still. Then turning it around again, line it up, half a centimetre in, and repeat again. So 45 degree, gentle, a little bit firmer, and if you need to, a little bit firmer still. Rule it to the sides, open up that little bend a bit, and then just pick out the foam just carefully. If you cut a little bit too far away, you may need to be gentle so you don't pull the two pieces apart. And then hopefully, you've got a nice 40 degree, uh, sorry, nice, nice degree cut there which you can use. So continue, you want to make sure you do this line, this line, those two lines, and then make sure you do both your sides apart from the outside edge, and then the same for the others as well both the sides and uh, leaving that outside edge nice and flat to lean against the table. Now we'll speed it up and then move on to the next step. So there we go. Once you've um, added your 45 degree cuts to all your side edges but not your back edges, you should be able to lift up all four parts of your box and they should hold together like that. So there we go. Right, uh, before we go on to the next stage, the next stage is going to be to decide how wide you want your tissue hole to be. Now I would suggest this will give you a nice big hole for a tissue to move through um, with the tissue being able to get stuck in that gap as well. If you wanted to, you could bring it in about half a centimetre on the sides. Now I'll just quickly model that with the knife this time, if you want to do that. So again, just using your metal ruler and your knife, I'm going to bring it in just a half centimetre to make a slightly tighter um, hole for my box. Then line it up. Again, gentle line, slightly firmer line, then firm line still. And in from the other side, about half a centimetre. Gently press in, and slightly harder, and slightly harder. And then, you probably don't need your ruler for the last step. Just a gently little tap with the, with the knife. And on the other side here. There we go, and that should just, with a little encouragement, pop out like that. Oh dear, sorry about the camera. There you go. So again, if we lift up our size there, one, two, three, four. That's what our boxes are gonna look like before we start adding the sides. So that's our next step, we're gonna add the sides. Okay, so to, in order to construct a box, you're gonna need your hot glue sticks and your hot glue gun. Run a line of glue down one of the hinge seams. And then just Fold it up, making sure it's being held at 90 degrees as it cools. And you should find after a little bit of time, it'll hold up nicely. If you're slightly off your 45 degrees, don't worry too much. By the time we're done with the other pieces, it won't matter a huge amount. Now, from now on, you're going to need to glue two seams at a time. You're going to be gluing your main seam there and also your side seam along this edge as well. So make sure you've got enough glue. I've got a brand new hot glue stick, so this might be a bit interesting. So apply glue to the middle of your seam. Then acquire glue up your seam here as well, and then press and hold it up. Now you should find, um, if you've cut your pieces accurately, that actually your box will hold its own nice degree edges. So once you let go, it should hold nice. You can see you've got a nice, nice degree edge there. And we look at it sideways on, actually that's holding up pretty well. So you just repeat your way around the outside, adding your glue down your centre seam, then up your side seam here, don't worry about a little bit of side glue. Hold it up so it, it touches. Because we're going to be covering the whole of your tissue box with the dirt block templates in a minute. There you go, it doesn't take very long. Foam board's brilliant for this. And your last side, you're going to need to do your centre seam and your two side seams down here. Always good to have the cutting board, catches the glue. So I would suggest glue down the middle first. Glue down that edge. Oh, glue all over the cutting board. And up we come. Hold it, in the, hold it on by the sides, making sure it's holding that nice cube shape. And then by about five seconds, it should have cooled down enough to bond together. And there you have your standard black and white box ready to go. Don't worry about these gaps here. If you wanted to, you could fill those with glue, but we're going to be covering with templates with tabs, so you shouldn't see them at all when they're done. Okay, let's move on to the next step. Okay, so for the next step, you're going to need to take your, white, your black and white box, and you want to turn it up so you've got your slot at the top. Then we're going to need our four side templates with the dirt and the grass. And remember, when you sit these on, you want to make sure the grass, if that's the top, 
the grass is facing top sides up. Now to stop the, the paper wrinkling, we're going to apply the glue straight onto the box, but we're not going to put glue onto the tabs, and I'll explain why in a little bit. So first of all, apply a generous amount of glue around the edge of each of the faces of your tissue box cube. Then take your template, carefully line it up with your edges and smooth it on down. Once that's in place, gently lift up the left side. It's only for your first piece. This will become very, very clear later when we apply our tabs. Once that's up, Try not to drop your glue stick on your cat. Take your glue stick and apply a little bit to the adjacent edge where your tab is. Then fold over your tab and you can see we've managed to hide up, or rather hide those hot glue edges that we did have there. Okay, don't worry if it bubbles up a little bit. It'll be smoothed down before you know it. Then once you've done that, take the next template and apply the same with the tab facing right. Remember, we're not gonna glue this tab down just yet. So again, apply glue over the top of the tab you just glued and over the top like this. Apply a good three layers of glue. If you're using a prick stick, you probably only need one, one or so layer of glue. Line it up again. Try and line it up with the pixels if you can. The smoother and the neater, the better your cubes can look when it's done. So hopefully when you turn your cube, your dirt block should line up pixel for pixel. And then turn it over once more and just rinse and repeat all your way around. Now when you come back around to this final side, remember this is the edge we didn't glue down, peel it back gently, apply your glue just underneath there. Then smooth down your tab, hold it in place, and then finish off your sides, apply glue on top of the tab, and then that original side just smooths back down, just like that. And that's completed all your sides of your tissue box. If any are a little bit loose, you can just apply a little bit of glue to smooth those on down. Now, Turn your box up, and you're going to want to smooth down two tabs this side, and then two tabs on top. So just apply glue on opposite sides, and there's one, and the other side, for two, then on your two adjacent sides, so tie a little bit of glue over the tabs here, and press them on down. And then you'll glue down this side as well. Just like that. And you know what, guys? We're only one more step of finishing now. So your final step in your dirt block tissue box is to take your top piece, which looks like this. And then you might notice right down the middle here is a dotted line. You might not be able to see this in the video, but it's definitely there. We want to make sure that is over the runs down the same direction as your line there. Then all you want to do is apply a good line of glue around the outside, and this bit's quite important, apply glue around the edge of your hole as well, because you want the top bit to hold down especially well. Then line up your dotted line, line up the pixels, and smooth that down on top like that. Don't forget to smooth around the outside of where your, your hole is. You should be able to feel it by running your finger down you give it a gentle poke through. Right, so your final step is to take your knife and your ruler, lining it up with the centre of where your dotted line is. Gently push through like that. Turn it sideways and repeat with the two little sideways dotted lines here. Depending on how wide it is, your knife may not run the entire distance of the uh, dotted line there. Mine doesn't. And then you should be able to poke your finger through the grass there. And now here's a little bit, a little bit fiddliness. To make sure this looks nice and smooth, tuck your knife under, poke up your tab like this, fold it back, do the same on the opposite sides because we need to apply some glue. So poke fold that back. It's not going to look ugly for long. Apply glue along this edge here. This is where tacky glue comes in useful because it uh, holds a lot better while it's going off. And then you want to tuck your little tab underneath there. Now this is a bit of a pain to hold in place. You can use a piece of foam board wedged down there, that does work quite well. Once you've done that, apply it on the opposite side as well. 
And when you are done, it should look a little bit like that. So there you go, one completed Minecrafter block tissue box. And just to show you how it actually works, I'm going to go and get some tissues. And so to use that, you just want to get a normal box of tissues, pop it there, put your box over the top, and the only fiddly bit is trying to get the tissue up through here. So if you put it on its side, you can feed it through by hand. Or you could try and use the tip of your knife to hook through your tissue. But once it's out, there you have. And as you can see, because the gap is quite thin between here, it holds the tissue up nicely. So if I adjust the camera, you can see it from sideways, or even better if I just turn the block sideways. You can see as you pull it out, the next one is held in place by the thin gap there. So there you go, guys. One completed Minecraft Dirt Block Tissue Box. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. If you did, do a like and subscribe to the channel for more of the same. That's the last Minecraft video for our September. October's new projects are coming up, and the theme is old school toys. If there's a certain toy you'd love to see made, then do leave a comment underneath this message or on the October trailer. And as always, do check out the Facebook page at uh, KD Crafts, and do find us on Twitter at KD Crafts as well. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Thank you.